Hello, this is Vicar Dave with your encouraging word of the day. When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he touched his hip socket, and Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, Let me go, for the day has broken. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And he said to him, What is your name? And he said, Jacob. Then he said, Your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For you have struggled with God and with man and have prevailed. Genesis 32, 25-29 That night, Jacob wrestled with a man and lost. And only after the fact did he learn that the man was God. In the same way, we are not able to experience spiritual success, particularly in prayer, apart from defeat. In other words, God uses the cross in order to teach us to call upon him in every need. The devil can easily use our failures to undermine our faith with a sense of guilt over our inability to pray as we ought. However, prayer is not an obligation or duty that we must fulfill. It is a gift given to communicate with our loving Father in heaven. Despite the fact that Jacob did not prevail in his wrestling match, He did not let God go until he had blessed him. Let this be our example. When our attempts at prayer prove lame, let us hold fast to God, our Father, until he blesses us. And he will. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you command me to pray and promise to hear me. Grant that I rely only on you and your word for strength to pray. Amen. May the word of God give you strength and peace this evening.